Okay, okay. Calm down. Yeah, you're just gonna talk to a fire-breathing lizard that is about the size of um, an actual castle. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. It's, it's, um, yeah, it's just, you're just, um, yeah. Okay. Here we go. Hello, Mr. Um, or Mrs. I don't know what gender you are, but uh, Dragon, 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 uh, dra Drag, oh, 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 uh, there you are. <laughs> Hi. Oh, that's a lot of smoke. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm not, a, I'm not a thief or a barbarian or an adventurer I, i'm here on um no 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 not 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 a thief i am here on r royal business um i i am r right my my, my, uh, my name um my name is i am prince arthur the the sixth of my name Oh, oh, you're getting really close. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Oh, you just couldn't see me. Huh. Um. Right, right. I'm here. Uh, our contract for you, um, pr protecting the kingdom and us living in your territory is coming to an end soon. And uh, um, we we can't read it, but we understand the basics of it. And I'm here to renew it. So that another five thousand years can g g go by, and we can have protection, and, and you know we can live safely in your territory without having to m move. Um, so I'm really nervous. You're, you, what? Why? Well, well, you see, you're um very, very um b big. And and um, you're a dragon, and the stories of you guys are kind of scary. And I don't really want to be your lunch or a snack or anything. I, I want to leave with my life intact. So I came to uh, um, renew the contract and to ensure peace between you and my kingdom. Well, soon to be kingdom. I'm still a prince. My father is still alive. Why is it my father here and I'm here instead? Well, well you see, uh, my father is very, very ill. I suspect he doesn't, he's not long for this world, so soon I, I will be king. Um, and when I am king, uh, obviously the contract goes into effect, but I wanted to make sure that another 5,000 years of peace could, could be assured between us both. Uh, uh, oh, you're not the uh, original dragon that made that pact? That was your f father? Uh, oh, well, c can I make a pact with you then? If your father's not around? He's gone. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. If, if you don't mind me asking, what what did him um in? Sorry if that was weird to say. Uh huh. He got what? Dragon hunters? N no, we we have never sent any here. We we worship the dragons. It's even on our uh, insignia. See, right here on my on my uh, cloak. You can see your little father's head um, symbol. We, we we idolize you. Why would we do that? You suspect it was an enemy kingdom? Uh, maybe. There has been assassination attempts in the past, but that's n normal for being royalty. I mean, my fair share of assassins have come to take my head. <laughs> Luckily, I have guards in my own personal... Um, Assassin that protects me. I don't really send them out. Their job is to stop other assassins, mostly. Uh, oh, you have an idea. What's that? For, for the pact? I, I'm all ears. What? 
um, I don't, I don't know about that. I, I mean, you, you seem nice and all, but, but how would you even fit in my kingdom? Oh my, I'm flush. Uh, a marriage proposal from a dragon is not what I was expecting when I... Well, I mean, it's not a bad idea. I mean, p politically, it would make a lot of sense, you know, get the dragon blood in our veins and our offspring could, could be even more powerful. I get, I, get that, I get the idea, and I know that with an actual dragon being married into the royal line, it would cause um, no one to question our birth rights. I understand, but... What I don't understand is why you're so willing. I know that dragons don't usually care about human politics or, or human pr problems. You normally don't, but you want pr protection? Um, okay. I, I understand, but again, how are you going to fit inside the castle for any marriage kind of ceremony. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to deny it outright. I still have to give it time to think about, but still, there's a bunch of logic here that... Uh, oh, you can change forms? Uh, can I... can I see? Uh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll take off any weapons I have. Um, uh, the dagger, uh, the runic sword, and the uh, wand, all, all on the floor. Y yeah, I know how to use magic. Is that surprising? Oh, y yeah, I guess most humans don't know how to use magic, but you see, I I'm part of the royal line, and we're kind of expected to learn magic. If we refuse, we're sort of disinherited. Uh, anyway, um... Yeah, so I'm ready for to see the transformation. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, you, you're like only like a foot taller than me now. I mean, I know I'm only like five foot eight, but still. Huh, I guess your voice is a little less, um, boomy, yeah. No, 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 no. You're very handsome, and you look good too. Sorry, I was staring. Um, it's just that uh, you're um, kind of a little um, n naked. Why is that a problem? Well, you see, in human society, um, it's normal to uh, have um, clothes. Yeah, I could provide those to you. I mean, I don't have any right now. I wasn't expecting to dress a dragon. But but if you were to do the whole marriage and courting thing, then, um... It, yeah, but uh, I, I still need time to think about it. Uh, if I marry you, the contract will last for eternity? Uh, are you sure? I mean, for eternity for me is only like a hundred years. I'll die. You know, I'll get old and pass away, but for you, that's... Uh, how long do dragons even live? They're basically immortal unless killed. Uh, okay. Um... No, 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 it, it's not a bad idea at all. Um... I just... <sighs> okay. Hmm? Uh, oh... Yeah, let's, um... Uh, well, we'll revisit this. Uh, um, see you t tomorrow? I yeah? Okay, I I'll be back tomorrow. Um, I, I might bring a few extra people so we can help discuss the... No, just just me. You don't trust other people. Uh, oh. Well, um... Okay, I I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> I just gotta think it over for the night. Uh, bye! Man, climbing up this hill. Oh. I'm so tired. I feel so sluggish. <sighs> oh. Guess I've already arrived at the cave. Hey, dragon. Dragon? Dragon. 
Where'd he go? He was just here yesterday. He went... Uh, oh, you're hurt. Uh, oh, are you okay? Oh my god, that's a lot of blood. And you're in your full dragon form. W w what happened? Dragon hunters? Huh. Um... Uh, let me see. Maybe I can help heal you. I, I mean, I don't have much on me. I wasn't expecting this, but I have some bandages and some salve. It should at least slow it down and cause your own body to heal it. It just won't be very, um, fast. P please trust me to do this. I, I know you. we only just met yesterday, but I don't mean you any harm. Uh, quite the opposite. Okay. Um... I'm gonna climb your wing, okay? Just don't, uh, eat me. I'm just trying to help. It's gonna hurt a little bit, because I gotta disinfect it. I, I know you're not a fan of that, but, but please just work with me. Thank you. Uh, all right. I'm putting it on, and uh, don't bite me, don't bite me, don't bite me. Okay. Whew, okay, you didn't do it. Okay, it's gonna... Rub this in a little bit. I know it hurts. Please, just please be calm with me. Um. All right, it's all being done. Rubbed in. Uh, are you okay? All right. I'm gonna do the bandages now. I don't know how much this is gonna help, but it's just a simple sword wound. So maybe I can pull it closed with the bandages, and then your body will heal. Don't dragons have higher regenerative abilities? Yeah. The thing that hurts you the most, though, is this was a silver sword. It does extra damage to magical creatures. Uh, how do I know that? Uh, it, I'm a royal. Remember, I'm taught all these things. If a dragon were ever to attack, we still need to be ready. Look, don't take offense to that. I mean, you have claws, but you don't really use them on me, right? Same deal here. Anyway, let me just finish this... Up, uh, I'm not I'm pulling this closed. Yeah, I need to get it around your sort of um shoulder. Is that what you would call it? Your joint? Or is that like your thigh? I don't know what you would even call this. Is it your thigh or shoulder? Do you even have shoulders? I mean, you have you have wings, so I guess you would, right? I don't know. Technically a shoulder. Yeah. Can you just move your arm that way? Thank you. There we go. Nice and um, healed, I think. And it's extra stretchy, too. So if, if you need to move your arm, it's not that big of a deal. What's it made from? Oh, it, it's made from um, Drider Silk. Yeah, with the nearby Drider Kingdom. Uh, we have a lot of trading with them. They trade us their silk, and we trade them f uh, food. It's quite a simple trade, really. They live out in the desert kind of region, so getting fruits and types of watery things is very hard for them. So we provide that with them, and they give us their coveted rider silk. Oh, right. Um. All right. Uh, are you feeling okay? I would do the little standard uh, looking into your eyes and stuff, but I don't think that would help since you have, uh, well, reptilian eyes. They're quite a bit different from human eyes. Are you going to change into your human form? Uh, okay. Huh, the bandage has shrunk with you. Is that kind of magic you have? It is. Ah. I don't know if this would be a, a great idea, but you can come with me and stay in my kingdom. I know it's not exactly what you're used to, but I imagine a bed would help your wounds more than a cave floor. Whoa, hey, I got you, I got you. You almost collapsed there and face planted. Uh, oh, jeez. Whoever did this knew what they were doing for sure. They left you to bleed out, though. Such a cruel fate. Come on. Let's get you to my... Mm. Oh, I'm going to have to drag you the whole way, aren't I? Ah, 
This is going to be a long walk. Mm -hmm. ah, finally, the gates. Guards. Guards. Ah, finally. N no, I don't need your rebuttals or arguments. You're hurt. C can you please take them up to my chambers? No, no rebuttals about this. No, I have not lost my mind. Just take them to my quarters. That is an order. I will have you beheaded if you don't listen. Good guard. All right. No, I'm fine. My shoulder is fine. Just had to pull them all the way down the mountain. Oh. Yeah, I know. I should be going to more night training. I just don't really like fighting with a sword that much. So I'm not as strong as you other guys, but come on. Anyway, is that any way to speak to your prince? You know, one of these days, I will have you beheaded. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Fuck you too. Look, just take this bag of coins. You didn't see nothing. Got it? Good. <sighs> and don't call me that either. My name is Arthur, not Brat. <sighs> Honestly, you should treat me with a bit more respect. Yeah, I know I've never actually decapitated anyone. But still, maybe one day, maybe I'll be like that uh, Red Queen of Hearts. Off with your head. Yeah, whatever. Look, just guard the gate and I'll make sure you got a nice good bonus. Yeah, yeah. Talk to you later. And hey, when you see the stable boy, tell him to stop peeking into other people's business. He's lucky I didn't catch him. Yeah, I know you look after the kid. Just make sure he stops poking his nose where it don't belong. No, that's not a threat. That's a warning. I don't want to do anything. Don't make me have to. All right? All right. Now to go speak to a dragon. Hey, good morning. That's fire. Hey, stop it. You're going to catch my room on fire. Dude. Stop! Ah, don't shoot fire at me, I saved you. Yeah, saved you. Don't you remember? You, um, were stabbed in the shoulder, brink of death, saved you, turned into a human, passed out. Okay, it's all coming back to you? Good. Now, what the hell happened? What happened to Big Strong Defender? Why are you being like that. Why are you still in your human form? Oh, you can't go into your full form? What, what do you mean full form? I thought that human form was just a transformation you can use with magic. What? You're only half dragon? Why didn't you tell me? You didn't want to seem like a wimp. It's not being a wimp. It's called just being honest. Also, by the way, if you're only half dragon, how the hell are you going to protect this kingdom? You, your dragon form is a transformation you can only go into. Versus a full dragon who's a dragon who transforms into a human as a transformation. In this case, the dragon's the transformation. Great. Well, I know you still retain some of your draconic features like the horns and eyes, but that's not going to stop a battleship. Part of the strength of this kingdom is the threat of a dragon. We've never used said dragons, but we have them. That's what keeps people in line. If they knew we didn't have a dragon defending the kingdom, all hell would break loose. We gotta keep this a secret. Luckily the guard didn't really seem to catch on you were a dragon, but still. Probably soon you're some type of demon, which great probably have demon rumors running around. Where's my father? Probably passed out in his room with a thing of alcohol. He's sick and drinking like there's no tomorrow. Which for him, there may not be. <sighs> I've had to assume all the responsibilities that King would have, but in the princely role. So no one takes me seriously, but I still gotta get all the work done. It's like all the work without the pleasure. It's no fun. Yeah, that's 
I guess that's why I was also very warmed up to your proposal about marrying me. Not many options are there for me to marry into, and any family I marry into, my name could be ripped from history. And if I let that happen, my... well, my dynasty dies out. And I might be the last member of it. So you're kind of the only hope I have for that. You have an idea? What's that? Yeah, yeah, the marriage thing, but what else? Adoption? <laughs> yeah, adopting a kid only goes so far. Also, it, the blood has to be pure. It has to be of dragon blood, which apparently I have, but I don't have any draconic features, as you can notice. So, I doubt that. You're the one with the draconic blood. That's why I was saying introducing one of your kind back into the family could, yeah, reinstill it. I'm mostly human, just for some scales now my back. Yeah, just on the back, of all places. One place no one can see. <sighs> Unless I'm in the bathhouse, which I rarely use, because I don't really like being naked. Well, I'm a little self-conscious about the scales, alright? Whatever, look. <sighs> I'm gonna let you stay in my room until you're... well, and I'm gonna sneak you back out. Maybe if we court, you can stay, but this is a big mess. Uh, well, with your father, no offense, but with your father dead, my kingdom could get run over by any other kingdom. My military is not that strong. I, I have guards, I have a standing army, but it doesn't push anywhere. And besides, I'm just a lesser vassal of a larger kingdom. No one's going to care if we get run over. Vass what a va what vassal am I? Ah, <sighs> I'm a vassal of the Gaia Empire. They recently absorbed Dunce and the Kingdom of Frostleaf, but I've heard Frostleaf starting to rebel and that Dunce is starting to form their own army to take over. So if I'm being honest, I don't really know the future of my kingdom, but I need more might. That's also why I went up there to reforge that peace agreement. I know there's a big war coming and. If I had a dragon on my side, well, at least people wouldn't mess with us. But, things like that plan's out the window. Yeah, you can transform into a dragon, but I don't think you can hold it for very long. I mean, you were wounded and had to for and had to transform into a human form to not die. What happens if you're in a war and you get injured, huh? Look, I'm not meaning to be too tough on you. But being a prince has certain responsibilities that I must do before any pleasure ones. <sighs> yeah, yeah, you want to rest. <sighs> I'll let you rest. Yeah, yeah, good night. Jesus, what am I going to do? Prince, prince! Uh, what? It's your father. What, did he get into another... Oh, another drink binge. I don't really care. N no, he had a heart attack. Oh. Aren't you sad? No, not really. But, but he's your father. Knight, don't speak out of turn. Sorry. My father is an alcoholic asshole. Sure, did he love me? Sure. But he was never really there, and I've had to take over all of his responsibilities because he's lazy. Why would I really care? But he may be dying soon. I'm gonna go say my goodbyes, but like, it's none of your business. Thank you for informing me, but don't tell me how I should feel. <clears throat> You're not gonna behead me, are you? No, but hold your tongue next time, got it? Y yes, sir. Hmm. Also? I want you to go guard my room. Why? Just, just do it. And don't open the door. I, I mean it. Yes, sir. Jesus, the last thing I need. How the hell did you get out of my room? I locked the door. Yes, I know you've been here for a week. But I can't have you just running around the castle wearing that. Oh, come here. Not normal. I would never normally do this, but you're gonna wear my cloak. Get it on. Ch -ch 
Yeah. There, at least now you're not naked. I know you don't like wearing pants. Oh, God. You know, for supposedly a dragon, you're not very majestic. Where am I going? To go see my dying father. Once he dies, I officially have to go find someone to marry. Hooray. Your offer. I'll think about it, all right? Let me just deal with one thing at a time. And you were not coming in my father's room. You got that? Why am I speaking so boldly to you, even though you're a dragon? Look, I know I'm nervous in your full form, but... This isn't about power, might, or anything. This is strictly a family matter, not even a royal matter. I'm gonna go say my goodbyes, he's gonna die, and then I'm gonna become... Well, I can't become king until I marry, but you get the point. What about where's my mother? Oh yeah, she, uh, she died. I don't really care for her, she was very abusive. Oh, I'm just staying at matter of factly. She was. <laughs> she tried to throw me off the balcony and have me killed several times. Why? Ah, eh, my brothers. They, she wanted them to rule, but, uh, well... Joke's on them. They're now... Well, my mother's dead. She was killed by my assassin. Not that I sent them after her, but she tried to kill me in my sleep. And my brothers are now in prison. Or conspiring against the kingdom. So, just me now. Anyway, I gotta go visit my father. You stay right there. All right, here we go. Hey, father. Yeah, you're still plastered. Oh, I don't need you telling me how I should drink. Father. You know you're about to die, right? Hmm. <laughs> like you would care, you coldest, heartless son of a... Let me stop you there. I've had to be the grown-up. And literally my entire life. Alright? I'm the one who had to take care of the brothers. I'm the one that had to take care of mom. And I'm the one who's had to take care of all the kingdom's problems since I was born. You don't get to say anything about that. Don't you growl at me. You don't even look like a dragon. Does it matter? Does it really matter? So what? The scales are only on my back. Oh well. You are no son of mine, you son of... <laughs> you about to say son of a bitch. Oh. Oh, that's unfortunate, isn't it? <laughs> what, what did you... <laughs> like I said, you were gonna die soon. <laughs> Why? Why are you this way? I just... <laughs> you, what have I done? <laughs> Goodbye, Father. May you rest in hell. <laughs> Guards, dispose of this trash. And oh, make sure you hold a funeral for the people or whatever. Uh, aren't you... Uh, aren't you gonna be there? No. Y yes, sir. Hello, dragon. What happened? None of your business. <sighs> Alright. Let's go don these clothes. Why am I being quiet? Well, my father died. A lot of self-reflection happening. Did I kill him? No. I told him his alcohol would be the death of him. He didn't listen to my warnings. And knowing he's an alcoholic, someone might try to put something in his drink. I didn't do anything. All I said was he was an alcoholic. 
All I did was talk about it at the bar in front of 20 people. <laughs> Who could have told anyone else? I'm free of blame in this incident. Why do you look so surprised? I seem like a kind ruler. Let me tell you something, dragon. Being a prince requires certain actions to be taken. Good or bad, they need to be taken. My father's was in the way of what I needed to do, which was restore this kingdom back to a rightful state to where it can defend itself. We're crippled in every sort of way. Financially, we are crippled financially. We don't have a military to really speak of, and we're the laughingstock. But if I make myself strong enough, maybe we can resist the oncoming onslaught coming our way. My father was a fool, an abusive mean, evil fuel. And in his place, I will take it. Don't know if I'll be much better, but I can try. You still sure about that marriage proposal? Hmm. So stubborn, aren't you? Why have I gained so much confidence? Well, I don't know, really. Maybe I'm just tired. I'm gonna head to bed. Feel free to join if you want. I don't really care. Ugh, what time is it? 1am? Why the hell are you getting me at 1am, dragon? Like, come on, dude. Just go to bed. What? Why are you so angry? Did I kill your father? No. Am I sure? Yes, I'm sure. What would me killing your father, what would gain me from me killing your father? I don't need him for anything except maybe defending us. And killing him only screwed me over. Alright? So, what would I gain from that? Yes, I have no problem killing. It's part of the princely duties. Alright? You have to play the game to win. And if you don't win, you die. It's simply how it is. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya, I hear ya. But just let it go, alright? Why am I like this? You want to know more about me? You offered to marry me without even knowing me. Why are you suddenly interested? Because I've been taking care of you and letting you stay here, but you don't understand why. Alright. Fine, I'll explain my backstory. <sighs> Just don't pity me, got it? I, I hate that kind of thing. I know traditionally it's like, oh, you know, fear me or feel bad for me because of my sad, tragic backstory. Please just don't. It would really bother me. Thanks. You see, my great-great-great-grandfather founded this kingdom. And your father agreed to enter a contract with him. That contract was pretty well done, pretty good. No complaints, right? Well, come down to my father's generation. He started breaking the contract, advancing, growing more than he should have. In return, your father burnt down half the countryside. Didn't burn the kingdom, just the countryside to say, hey, stop. Father didn't listen. Did it again and again and again and again. And he was scorned. Having this happen, he became a lot more bitter. Of course, he still managed to woo who is my mother, who came from a rival kingdom, who married into our kingdom, making us one conjoined kingdom that I now rule over. She, she wanted the dragon blood in her family line to ensure that her dynasty might live, if not in name, then in blood, as her kingdom was on the brink of collapse. 
after the Great War. Do you remember that? Ah, you were never, didn't, weren't involved in it. Well, basically, Dunce and Frostleaf were brought into the kingdom's fold, but in the process, they started fighting back in big, giant, rebellious groups, causing a big, bloody conflict that lasted about a uh, hundred years. Anyway, it devastated her kingdom, which means her kingdom was right in the middle of those two, and they constantly fought on a battlefield, often hitting her kingdom in the process and killing several of her subjects, and who wants to live in a kingdom that's constantly in war? Right? Well, she had four children. First, she had my eldest sister. Then, she had the eldest brother, the second eldest brother, and then me. You following so far? My father was happy, but he doesn't really like females in the family line. So my elder sister was orphaned off, you could say. Basically, she was given to a random farm family as a just-in-case-all-the-family-heirs-die kind of thing. Yeah, so if the whole family line were to die, there's a secret family line out there that we can pull from basically. Not that that'll happen, but it's a royal advisory duty to pull from that family line. Example, if there's no females and wish to marry more dragon blood into, there's a source right there, and it's not that bad. Because it's, well, like, what, 20, 10 to 20 generations down the line? Anyway. once that set was all in place, it left my th the three brothers, me and my two eldest. The eldest brother had a big sense of pride and joined the army. He, of course, went and conquered for the kingdom, but sustained great injuries and ended up losing his arm and one of his eyes. He uh, was never quite the same after that. Uh, the one directly older than me, he... Um, had a great passion for cooking, and, well, he, I kind of liked the dark arts. Not that I judge at all, you know, he liked using black magic, but, well, necromancy is kind of a big taboo around here. He had to keep it on the down low. And then there was me, who was born last, a couple years after both of my brothers. Since I was, well, had the dragon scales on me, even if they were just on my back, I was chosen to rule the house. So I was raised properly as a prince versus my other two siblings who were kind of raised to kind of just be pawned off. That's a better sense of words. Yeah, my father wasn't the greatest person. And this made mother really angry and jealous. How could I overrule her two eldest children. It's not right. Certainly the eldest must rule, right? But the things not going in his favor was, his, though his arm had scales, that arm was cut off, so there's no proof. And his dragonic eye was also stabbed out and bored. So he had no claim. Same with my second eldest brother. If I was dead, they had a claim, right? Well, mother took that a little too seriously. They, following throughout the course of a month, they tried to have me assassinated over and over and over. Both brothers trying to kill me in their own way, trying to make it look like an accident. Until, well, my mother got frustrated with them not being able to do it and came in with a knife. I, of course, had a guard of my own inside my room. And if they see a prince getting attacked, their job is to defend me, right? Well, they defended me, and they lopped off her head. My father wanted the guard assassinated, but I wouldn't have that. He defended my life, after all. At the end of the day, my two brothers were kicked out, the royal titles stricken from them, and imprisoned deep in the deepest dungeon of this castle, fed scraps, and are starving currently as we speak. It may seem cruel, but, well, they lost the game. Following these incidents, my father became more bitter than he was before, picking up a drinking problem and smoking problem. 
He'd abuse me, hit me, slap me, downright torture me, and sometimes would have me participate in experiments to try to see if they can grow my dragon half, shocking me, intoxicating me with all different types of chemicals. It really was quite bad. But at the end of the day, he was getting old and frail, and I was only getting stronger. And one day, he couldn't get out of bed. Until that led to today. Well, a week ago. And he met his end. My 12 and shaking would be the end of him, and he didn't listen. So, that's his fault. Do you see why I don't really have a lot of care for my parents? Or my lineage as a whole? I care about extending my own dynasty and having children of my own one day. But as for my grandparents, parents, and siblings, I could give a rat's ass about them. To tell you the truth, I um, don't really have any family left. My father was really the last I really had besides for my two siblings and my mysterious sister that's out there in the world who I'll never meet, and maybe my great-great-great-great-grandson or daughter will meet, but besides that, I'm the last of my line. If I die, that's it. So I gotta make sure I play this game as best I can. Because there is no, there is no extra lives. Hmm. Happy and satisfied? You are? You still sure about that marriage proposal? Damn. Well, there's one thing I gotta give it to you. You are dedicated. Hmm. You wanna tell me your backstory? Fine, let's hear it. Hmm. I see. So you're... Hmm. So your father, let's see if I understand this right. So your father had you with a female dragon that was killed by dragon hunters. Then your father was killed by dragon hunters, and then they came after you. Hmm. All because your family wanted to protect mine. Hmm. Funny how my family was dealing with espionage, and your whole family is actually together and actually loved each other. Huh. No, no, it's not funny. It's just, well, sort of envious in a sort of way. Anyway, continue. I see. So your father's been dead for like 30 years? Wow. No, I don't mean to make light of it, just that's a long time without anyone else realizing. Then again, I guess my father wasn't exactly eager to meet yours. All right. Hmm. All right. I suppose that makes sense. Yeah, I mean... Your father was angry at my father. What about it? I mean, everyone gets mad at each other. Overgrowing territory, trying to be political, being evil. I mean, you know. Dragons generally are morally good, so my father probably pissed off your father in a lot of ways. I don't know, I'd say I'm pretty neutral. I mean, I don't do things, evil things for no reason. I do them to help my kingdom or myself. I quite often do good things just because I can. Because it makes me feel good. I like doing good things. Being good feels good. You know that whole saying? Anyway. Let's continue onward. Hmm. Alright. I think I got the picture now. Yeah, I think I got it. Alright. No, I don't judge you at all for your actions. I mean, I'd eat hunters, too. I'd eat humans, too, if they were trying to kill me or my family. I don't... I'm not mad at you for that. 
Anyway, can we go to bed now? It's still like 1 a.m. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Good night. Uh, you're hugging me. Why are you doing that? It feels weird. No, I've never had a hug that... I, I mean, look, I... Dang it, you're making me all nervous again. Stop it. Uh, I don't like feeling this way. But at the same time, it does feel very... Safe. Is that the word to describe it? You're so warm and... Stop. 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 I appreciate what you're trying to do, but I'm not... I'm not ready for that. I... I... Uh, just forget about it. Just turn over and go to sleep. God, that was a big sleep. Uh huh. Where? Oh, right. That they're hugging under my arm. I swear, I can't tell if this is a child or a fully phaged dragon. Uh, whatever. Time to get up. Put on some clothes and ah. You're awake. What do I think about your marriage proposal? I... Hmm. I'm thinking about it. That's all I'm saying. Anyway. Come on. Where are we going? Um, we're going out to my father's funeral. And I should prefer to stay here. Also, make sure to grab your cloak. Yeah, your cloak. I'm not wearing it anymore. Well, I mean, no offense, but your claws have kind of ripped it. No need to apologize. I got plenty more. Come on. Ah, hello, sir. Would you like to share some thoughts on your father? Sure, why not? Hmm. Hello, my subjects. My name is Arthur, or Prince Arthur the Sixth. And I will soon be taking a proposal for marriage. In this process, I will become your new king. As for my father, well, normally at funerals you're supposed to share good thoughts, good times, good vibes, all of that stuff. However, I believe it's not appropriate. My father ravaged most of the countryside, caused you guys a lot of pain, caused your houses to be burned down. I've done my best to give you all new homes within this castle, and I've even made you part of the workforce, so you don't need to work out there. I understand it's not enough, and it does not make up for my, what my father did. My father was not a good man. He was not. But rest assured, everyone, I will be better. Far better. <laughs> we will know peace like we've never known it before. There may be some rough times coming ahead. I'm sure you all have sensed it. But, but here's one thing that you all should know. I'll never lie to you. That's all. Uh, that was incredibly inappropriate. That was... Shut up, priest. Just do your job. Ugh. Such a brat. Priest. Uh, please don't take my head. I'm not. But don't speak to me that way. You don't know me. Uh, uh, yes, sir. <laughs> As we commemorate this great ma- Why are they throwing tomatoes at me? Don't call him a great man. No one thinks he was a great man. Is he really that bad? He kind of raided the whole countryside. Maybe maybe um, destroyed a couple people's homes and caused people's houses to get burned down by a big scary dragon. And Oh, I see. Um, well, we shall lower him into the ground and give him a funeral of his worth. And 
They're all spitting on his casket. That's kind of to be expected. Are you not offended? No, not really. I... Okay, then. Lowering him into the ground for the royal crypt. I really think you should consider um, marrying my daughter. She... Shut up. Uh, I'm not interested in her. I've told you, old man. I'm not interested in marrying your family. Uh, she's a spoiled brat who throws a temper tantrum every time she doesn't get her way. Why would I want to marry that? Uh, 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 I, uh, shut up. Do your job. I'll pay you good. And you get to go home with food on your table. Doesn't that sound pleasant? And you make your god happy. Uh, 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 y yes, sir. All right, that's done, and what? Why are you looking at me like that? Rude. I was honest, wasn't I? But people wanted to hear honest. If I would have spoken like a, this guy, I don't know, like a mourning mother, then I would have been laughed out of the castle. All right? There's times to lie and there's times to tell the truth. Now's the time to tell the truth. Oh, don't get on me for that. Just shut up, all right? Just be quiet. Yeah, I know I can't force you, you're a dragon, but just give me a second to think. There's already 30 proposals to marry on my desk and all of them are not good. Well, it's comes absorbing my kingdom into theirs. Why is that bad? My kingdom essentially ceases to exist. In any state or form, the kingdom just dies. It goes under a new flag, a new name, and all the people, new different people will be here. <sighs> Basically, your independence that we enjoy and that we have. I mean, yes, we are a vassal, but we're mostly independent. That would come to an end. Yeah, I'm thinking about marrying a problem. You don't hold any counties, right? Yeah, I know you technically own the land. I don't know what to do. All right. I'm gonna go open some letters. You wanna join? Cool. All right. Let's read the first one from Esmeralda. Ooh. Scented with a rose. And absolutely nope, nope, nope. What's wrong with that? Oh, you know, proposing with a picture of your tits is not exactly the... Yeah, I'm not joking. Look. Yeah, right? Weird. If she has enough class to do that, not interested. Well, that tells me all about her personality right there. She's that desperate. I don't want desperate. No, look, I'm marrying because it's my royal duty, not because I want to marry. None of this is for love. Marriage for love is not really a thing you get that. That's a privilege. A privilege I don't get to have. I gotta choose the lesser evil. Now let's read the next one. Ah, this one's from Xavier, from the kingdom of Abona. Oh, they're kingdom renowned for their might. Not as good as Dunn's, but still pretty good. They live up in the wintry, kind of snowy mountainous area to the north. Yeah. Hmm. Nah. I mean, pretty good proposal, but... Uh, the cons of it are just... I put that on the maybe pile. Well, don't get me wrong. Marrying him would not be such a bad idea for my people, but in terms of independence, it basically kills it. My people would be great. They'd be well taken care of, but, well, my dynasty dies if I do that. So let's think about a few of you more before I decide on one. Okay. Ah, here we go. Another one. This one's from 
Oh, this one's from the king of Dunce himself. Why would he send me a marriage proposal? He's already married. Whatever. Uh, let's see. What? A poly relationship? No. Look, I have no problem with poly relationships, but in kingdom wise, that's like. No, I don't even know how you do even trade that way. How would you even trade goods? No, put that in the no pile. Uh, ah, we got one from Frostleaf. Figures, it's a basically a town renowned for its merchandise, and well, it's an e-commerce town. It's basically capitalism 101. All right, let's see. Yeah, I mean that's fairly okay, but the people kind of get screwed in this deal. Well, essentially, he would buy my kingdom. What that means is we could still have our independence, but the people that are all underneath my staff and that I have will basically become slaves. And, well, well, they're doing the same thing they do now, except they can't just leave or they'll be killed under contract. Ah, yeah, I don't know about that. Hmm. That's all of them, really. All the good ones are... All the other ones are from lesser counties, which if you merged wouldn't really do anything. So just help them. <sighs> okay, I've made a decision. Yep, I've come to a conclusion of who I'm gonna marry. Who is it? Well, the kingdom I'm going to marry is... yours. Yeah, you heard me. It's you. Like I said, this isn't about love or anything, but... Having an insurance in my bloodline and... Well... Having the ability to not have to worry about peace agreements anymore would be nice. Also, it would basically ensure that our land couldn't be invaded. At least not for a while. It would give me time to prepare. So, I think this is a good deal. Shake on it? Right, you don't do handshakes. Fine, high five. Cool. <sighs> Alright, I'm heading to bed. Yeah, already. I'm tired. I know it's only like 2 in the afternoon. You have an idea for a date? I'm not dating you. I'm marrying you. There's a difference. This isn't out of love. Don't get me wrong. It, love would be nice. But this isn't about that. And why are you taking my hands? I can relax? I... I uh, stop. Don't pretend that this means anything more to you than just protection. You're not selfless in this, all right? I know why you're doing this. Everyone has a purpose. They, they, they try to use you in any which way they can. I know how this goes. You don't need to pretend, all right? Why do you keep looking at me with that way, with your stupid, tender eyes? Stop it. I said stop. You don't care about me in that way, so just stop. Why are you still holding onto my hands? You're hugging me again. I told you to knock it off. Just embrace you. Why should I? Why? Stop. This is just an arranged marriage. There's nothing special going on. Why are you showing me so much care? I don't get it. You're not supposed to... This isn't supposed... To... This isn't the way it's supposed to go! You're supposed to... Resent me. Hate me. You're supposed to hit me. So do it! That's how this works. It's the trade. I'm royal. It's my duty to take the punishment. So do it. 
Why are you just doing it? Stop. Stop hugging me. Stop caring about me. This... I'm just marrying you for my own selfish desires, so... Stop. Just... Stop. Just... Stop. Please. Why are you being so nice to me? I don't understand. I took you in for my own self-benefit. I'm marrying you for my own self-benefit. Help. You saw me actively participate in the death of my father. So why are you... I don't understand. I just don't understand. You care about me? But why do you care about me? What did I do to be cared about? I'm kind? I don't think I am. I'm cruel in every sense of the word. And you know I am. So what if I gave them jobs? That's just what you do if you people lose their homes. You give them more better homes, okay? That's just what you do. And sure, maybe I want peace with everyone, all right? But that's just so I can keep my kingdom alive. There's no other reason. You're going to teach me what it is to be loved? Uh, what is this, a cliche? <laughs> Love. Such a funny th word, isn't it? Hmm. I don't really believe you. Too much has happened to me not, you know, to believe you, but with your eyes, they make me want to believe you. They make me... Fine. We'll do this courting thing you're talking about, and then when our marriage comes in roughly a month, I'll see if I can look you in the eyes and tell you I love you. Alright? Alright.